Good evening, family. Are you ready to go home? Things are intensifying, and with this plane crash, which I don't think it was due to bad weather, we could be going home this year, guys. We really could. The rapture is so soon. It is. I know I've been saying this a lot, but it really is, guys. Because you know who they're going to blame for this. If you haven't accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, I implore you to do it today. Do not put your <clears throat> excuse me. Do not put your faith and trust in any of these world leaders, anything or anyone in this world. Put your faith and trust in Jesus, because when the bombs drop, they're going to save themselves and their own families. I promise you that, ma'am. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Jesus is the only way to heaven. We can't be perfect. Only Jesus is perfect. But God sees everybody's hearts. God sees who truly want to live for Christ. And God sees the lukewarm Christians. When you have repented to change your mind, I live for Christ. I'm new in Christ. When the whole when you accept Jesus as Lord and save the Holy Spirit and dwells in you, He strengthens you. He calms you down when you got a lot going on in your life. He encourages you. Hold on to his hand. Don't let go. Time's short. You do not want to be here for what's about to happen. And remember, Satan doesn't focus so much on the ones he already has. Why is he going to focus on them? He's already got them. He focuses on the ones that are a threat. God has big plans for you. That's why Satan is attacking the way he is. He's trying to deter you, but Satan was defeated at the cross. He can't win. He doesn't win, and he won't win. He has no power, no authority over you whatsoever. We get so much to look forward to really soon. Those of you that have been praying for Lisa, thank you so much. I was there the day she was born, and our kids grew up together. I was talking to Lisa, and me and her known each other a long time, ever since... Uh, seventh grade and I was saying I thought that they said she had the flu remember a while back um, a couple of months several months ago um, I asked for prayers that she was taken in the ambulance and she said well yeah that's what she thought but then they went she went back in and they said it was Lyme's disease um, this Lyme's disease can be treated with antibiotics something that she should have been on for months now they said it's the most aggressive form of Lyme disease they've already seen that's what the doctor said and if, it, if that was my daughter, I'd be saying, well, yeah, McFly, because you said it was the flu. And it wasn't. And now all these months have gone by that she could have been on antibiotics. So she's going to get a second opinion, but she is starting antibiotics, and she may need a pacemaker. So, and Elise is only in her, let's see, my daughter's turning 30. I think Elise is 33, maybe. So, yeah, but, um... She's, uh, she's been doing better. So, thank you so much for your prayers. <clears throat> Guys, this thing is escalating. You know exactly who they're going to blame. This is from Warnews 247. You have to translate it from Greek to English. Just go into your settings and you'll be able to translate it. Are Russia and China preparing for an intervention? Well, they claim that the U.S. is assassinating and overthrowing leaders of countries close to the BRICS. Oh, boy. <clears throat> I don't know. Do we know that for sure? No. Wouldn't put it past them. Did the collapse go out of bounds? Oh, did the collision go out of bounds? What happened in the last two weeks? Well, Russia and China point to the U.S. as the country behind recent assassinations and coup attempts against leaders close to Moscow and Beijing. <coughs> Excuse me. In more detail, a quote-unquote bombshell publication circulating in Russian media cites Chinese analysts who report that the USA and by extension, NATO are responsible for the death of the Iranian president and more. The Russians outline an international environment in which the U.S. has moved to the quote-unquote next stage, that of killing political opponents. <coughs> wow. According to this information, quote, Chinese experts draw attention to a series of events they do not consider accidental. What are these series? Well, 
The assassination attempt of Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman al Saud. Saud? Reports from the Turkish authorities about a coup attempt in the country. The attempted assassination of Slovakian Prime Minister Robert Fico. Now the plane crash. All of this happened within two to three weeks. Oh, yeah, there's something up there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. <coughs> um, remember, there's a big X on our country now. Chinese experts point out that the leaders of the countries where these events took place either had a or talked about close cooperation with China and the development of the One Belt, One Road project. They had also distanced themselves from the West. We must point out the following. Indeed, recently, there were reports of coup attempt in Turkey, while on May 7th there were rumors of a coup attempt in Saudi Arabia, which was never proven. The thriller lasted only about only a few hours and was dismissed. Now the Russians, citing Chinese analysts, but without releasing the names, which suggest intelligence sources say the U.S. is behind the four incidents. It smells preparation for a Sino-Russian intervention in a third country, if necessary, or the creation of some military coalition. I would not put it past our country one bit. I wouldn't. Or NATO one bit. <clears throat> um... The Iranian president paid a three-day visit to China in February 2023, the first state visit by an Iranian leader in the country in nearly two decades. So do you believe that these events are just a coincidence? This is a tweet. X, whatever it's called now. So May 7th, the assassination attempt on the Crown Prince Mo bin Salman. May 12th, May 12th, I'm sorry, another attempt. A revolution in Georgia. May 14th, an attempted coup in Turkey. And then the South. Oh, I cannot talk tonight. The assassination attempt of Slovakian Prime Minister Robert Fico. I mean, too much is happening in a short period of time, you know. Russian President Vladimir Putin paid tribute to his Iranian counterpart, the President of Iran, calling him a, quote, remarkable political man and a true friend. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei I'm not going to shot Ryabkov I know I said that wrong R-Y-A-B-K-O-V I guess this is good I have no idea told reporters that quote Russia will continue to deepen its relationship with Iran as Moscow insists on the position that previous agreements with Tehran will be implemented of course Excuse me. We offer our deepest condolences to the government and the people of Iran for this terrible tragedy as we reaffirm our commitment to close, in-depth cooperation on both bilateral and international issues. And we also stick to the position that all agreements reached earlier will be implemented, he added, answering a TASS journalist's question about whether cooperation with Russia will be affected after the death of the Iranian president. The senior Russian diplomat stressed that Moscow and Tehran will continue to gradually develop their relations, including the tasks of enhancing security. We have lost a good friend, said the Chinese president. Chinese President Jinping today described the death of the Iranian president as tragic, <coughs> excuse me, and a great loss for the Iranian people, according to the Chinese foreign ministry. He stressed that the Iranian president's tragic death is a great loss for the Iranian people and that the Chinese people have lost a good friend. China is ready to provide Iran with all the necessary support and assistance. We strongly support the government and people of Iran in ensuring independence, stability, and development, and are ready to work with Iran to deepen our comprehensive strategic partnership. We see Bible prophecy. This, These are amazing times. I mean... We always heard about the rapture growing up and all through life, but did you guys ever think that you'd be alive to see everything happening at the rapid pace it is? Wow. Guys, we could go home any any, any second. We are living on borrowed time. Whatever you're going through, I promise you, you're not going to be going through much longer. Now, this isn't doom and gloom talk. I know life's tough, but we have so much to look forward to. I'm excited. I'm so excited. That's all I think about from the minute I wake up to the minute I go to sleep is the rapture and seeing Jesus. 
very soon, in the blink of an eye, the church will be gone. Satan will have full reign in this world. As bad as things are now, imagine how they're going to be when he has full reign. You don't want to be here. Keep looking up. Because we're about to hear that trumpet. I will leave the link in the description box. And if there's any more breaking news, I will be back on. I love you guys and I cannot wait to meet you. Marriage supper. Brownie table. Be there. God bless.